All right, hello everyone, this is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly recode numer a numeric variable in SPSS using options in the transform menu. For this example, I've created three variables, age, gender, and education level, and what I'm going to do is recode the age variable so ages are now put into groups. I'm going to clump them into groups so I can compare them across education levels later on. So in order to recode the age variable, we're going to go to the transform menu. But just before doing that, I want to quickly analyze age, look at the frequencies of age, to quickly get an idea of the spread of age and this is something you might want to do when recoding or grouping a certain variable such as age. So for example, there's 40 valid cases. The lowest level of age is 18 years of age and the highest is 64 years of age. There's many different ways on how you may want to recode or group a variable such as age. But for this example, I'm going to put it into three groups each group representing about 33.3% of the sample. So the first group is going to be 18 to 40, the second group is 41 to 55, and the last group is 56 plus. This is a very arbitrary way on how you might want to group something, but this is just the example I'm going to demonstrate and how you might want to recode a variable such as age. So next you want to go to transform, and under transform there's two options, recode into same variable, recode into different variable. I would always recommend you recode your newly uh, numeric variable into a different variable rather than the same because a different variable will be separate from the existing variable whereas the same option will actually overwrite and rewrite the existing variable which is something you might not want to do. If you're creating arbitrary groups like I am right now if you're to rewrite the existing variable, you're going to lose all that original information and probably information you do not want to lose. So we're going to go to recode into different variable. One thing I like to do before recoding variables is actually insert the variable right beside the existing one. So right beside age, I am going to put age recoded. And the reason I'm doing this is because when you have a large data set, it's very quick and very easy to lose track of where your recoded variables are going. If there's a lot of variables in the list, it'll be kicked all the way to the back, and then you have to go back and forth between the original variable and the recoded variable. You could always move it later on, but I always like to just insert it so I know where it is right away after transforming it. So let's go to transform. We're going to go recode into different variables. And in this box now, we're going to include the original variable and now the one that we want to transform. So I'm just pasting in age recoded. It's already an existing variable. Yes, I know, but there's nothing in it. And now we go to old and new values. So this is the menu now where you're going to actually recode your variable. In some cases, you could just add the original value here and the new value you may want, such as in a Likert scale. But in this example, we're working with ranges. So the ranges we're working with were based on the three groups that I created. So the first group was 18 to 40. We'll give that a value of 1. And now we add. So now we have our first group of age, which ranges from 18 to 40, with a value of 1. So that's group number 1. Our second group is going to be 41 to 55 with a value of 2, add. And then our last group, which is now 56 plus, which I'll quickly show here, 56 plus. And this one, you don't actually need the range option. What you would actually go to is range value through highest. You would put 56 here, and it's going to include all values above 56, and we'll give that a value of 3. So now we have our three categorical groups, all ranging in different uh, ranges of age. Um, so this value here, this option, creates all values above a value, and this option here is all values below that value. So if I wanted to capture everything below 56, you would use this option. Anyway, let's click Continue. Okay, 
And now it's pretty much saying here in the syntax that this variable has now been recoded. And here is our newly recoded variable right beside the original. If you didn't stick in the variable here, you would just have to grab it later on if you wanted to put it beside. But now that we have the variable, it's always good to just clean it up a little bit. We don't need the decimal point. And of course, we have our values. One was 18 to 40. Two was 41 to 55. And three, oops, three was 56 plus. So we have our groups, they've been recoded. That's how you do it. And just right away, just to show you a quick example, now that I've recoded it, I can compare my new groups based on education level just to see how my splitting or how my recoding uh, fares when looking at different levels of education. Look at the percents. And there you go. Now that I have my three groups, I can compare my three groups across different levels of education to see how their different levels of qualification differ between the three groups. That is my tutorial on how to recode a numeric value. Um, if you have any suggestions or things that you would see uh, more convenient when doing the step-by-step -step process, please let me know as I'm always looking for methods to improve my own step-by-step -step process and analysis. Thank you very much.